Hello everybody, this is going to be uh, kind of a review of RPG Maker VX Ace, just to let you guys know what you're getting into when you purchase it uh, on sale on Steam right now, because it is 50% off currently. Um, essentially, what RPG Maker at its base is, is a quick development kit for an RPG. You can make an extremely well put together RPG with this, but in order to do so I would say that you probably would need to make your own sprites and your own music and everything, because what it comes with is very much so uh, not high quality. Um, you can kind of just generally see what what it comes with, basically just right here. It's all in the same style. It all looks very clean and crisp and tacky, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I get it's it's well drawn, but I mean it's it's tacky, just in my opinion. It could it could be a poor opinion, could be wrong, but I just feel like I feel like it's a bit tacky as it is for commercial sale. I should point out that it's tacky for commercial sale. Um, but for your own personal use, it's it's fine. Um, you're not going to be making a huge RPG quickly with this, so I mean, don't don't buy this unless you've got time to work through uh, the development tool, spend several hours on it, and uh, really work to get your RPG made. Because I mean, it is work making making a game. It's not easy to do. It requires a lot of writing. It requires a lot of uh, uh, spriting, music making, all that stuff if you want to make make it your own kind of a deal. But uh, if you want to just uh, screw around and just make a quick RPG, cobble one together, you can definitely do that too. This is actually really good for that. Better at doing that, in my opinion, uh, than, you know, making an in-depth game. It's got a scripting system where you can make your own kind of deal, and it's pretty easy to learn, but again, that's going to take time, and you're going to have to learn how to script if you want to make uh, a high-quality game, because, like, the battle system in this is pretty terrible. I'll show it to you here. Uh, this is called an event an event screen and it's got different tabs in it and this is how you basically script without knowing how to script all of these are uh, pre-built in buttons that you can like uh, stream together to make things happen in your game without having to know how to script and there is actually a script event where you can insert a custom script but we won't get into that because this is not a tutorial this is just a review um, what was I going to do? All oh, right, battle. So do 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 do. Gotta find battle. Enemy appear. Bam. No, that is not what I want. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I can't quite remember how to make an enemy appear. It's been a while since I've even gotten into RPG Maker kind of taken a bit of a break, but I recently started again. Um, maybe I won't show you the battle system. <laughs> I would like to, but apparently I've gone stupid mode. Uh, this will give me a good chance to show you the events. Um, you've got your messages, and this will do custom text and stuff. Uh, it works exactly like you think that it would. It shows a little text box with a picture of somebody next to it. Um, game progression is uh, controlling the switches and variables, which uh, will set other events off. Flow control, uh, that's, that's basic logic, right? The basic logic statements, I think they're called. And that'll be like if something is true then this will happen and that's also basic scripting we won't get into that too much you can change your party stuff uh, your actor stuff which is like your main characters 
Uh, that's your movement. You can make things move through events. So you can, you know, make NPCs move around and whatnot, or make your your uh, main character move around for like cutscenes. Uh, this is more character stuff. Screen effects, you can make the screen shake and whatnot for like, I don't know, thunder and then a cinematic timing, pictures and weather, so you can change the weather effects and insert pictures into the game. Uh, that's all music stuff, so obviously that'll add music to the game. Battle processing, that's what I wanted. Uh, boom. Okay, so when the person touches this, it'll be a slime. And we'll put it right there so he has to. And this will give me a perfect opportunity to show you the uh, the testing function. You can test and in, uh, test your RPG just right from the development kit. And you can even move your where you start around. Yeah, this is the fighting. Very much so, uh, earthbound style fighting. Uh, and I never really was a big fan of that kind of combat, but if you are, <laughs> that's the default. You can get uh, custom made scripts that were made by, uh, scripters and coders, and a lot of times they will let you use them for free as long as you ask or they give you permission. Uh, and a lot of times you can even use them in commercial games. But make sure you ask them because you'll run into copyright issues if you steal scripts without permission. Um, overall, it's it's a decent little development kit. It's not going to make you rich or anything, obviously. But I mean, it it'll make an RPG. It'll do exactly what it says it'll do. It makes an RPG. It's playable. It's fun, depending on how creative you are. I mean, everything that you get out of this game will be coming from you. It's got no fun value as a game. All the fun's going to come out of creating something. So, I mean, if you're not looking to create an RPG, don't buy this. That's kind of obvious, you would think, but I don't know. Some people don't quite think ahead, which is what reviews are for. And it's fine if you don't think ahead, because there's reviews out there. Um, it's a good little kit. It's got plenty of uh, built-in things that you can use, little shortcuts. Uh, it saves you having to draw any sprites or make any music if you just want to make a quick RPG. Um, it's a load of fun if, uh, if you're into making games as a hobby, or if you want to start making games and start a new hobby. I recommend that you start with this. This will teach you basic development. Uh, through uh, just doing and who knows you might even get really into it and decide to learn to script uh, this is Ruby RGS S3 I think it's called and it's a pretty simple scripting language easy to learn great entry uh, scripting language you can move on to other scripting languages from here they're all very similar if you know one you essentially know the basics of all of them and then you just have to learn the nuances of the script. Um, yeah, you'll you'll learn plenty from this. It's worth it, in my opinion, if it's your hobby. If you're looking for a new hobby, give this a shot. It's definitely worth thirty-five dollars. Probably worth sixty dollars. Um, but I wouldn't recommend getting it for sixty dollars, so long as there's a sale. And it's gone on sale twice now, so. If you're thinking about buying this, I recommend maybe just waiting till there's a sale, because they're probably going to do more sales pretty regularly. Um, I hope that this was helpful, and I hope that you decide to pick this game up.